scripture news channel that you may know the truth step into the new life god has for you have you ever felt like something inside you is holding you back like there's a part of you that keeps dragging you down keeping you from living the life you're meant to live it could be a habit a mindset or a fear that's wrapped itself around your heart and refuses to let go you want to move forward but it feels like no matter what you do something is pulling you back what if i told you that freedom real freedom begins when you let go of what's weighing you down the truth is you were made for more you were made for a life filled with purpose peace and freedom and it's waiting for you in the book of colossians 3 3 to 5 the apostle paul speaks directly to this struggle he says for you died and your life is now hidden with christ in god put to death therefore whatever belongs to your earthly nature sexual immorality impurity lust evil desires and greed which is idolatry paul isn't just talking about a physical death he's talking about the old version of you the one bound by the things of this world that version of you died when you gave your life to christ but how often do we find ourselves clinging to those old habits desires or thoughts forgetting that we're meant to live a new life in christ it's time to uncover the life that's hidden in him the life that leads to peace purpose and true freedom i've been there wrestling with thoughts habits and desires that i knew were holding me back the constant battle between who i was and who i wanted to be felt like an endless cycle i'd get up in the morning determined to change to break free from the things that were keeping me down only to find myself falling back into the same old patterns by the end of the day it was frustrating exhausting and discouraging but then something clicked i realized that the struggle wasn't just with my actions it was with my identity the bible tells us that in christ we are made new but i was still living as if i hadn't been changed i was holding on to my old ways of thinking my old habits my old desires and the more i clung to the old me the more i felt trapped but here's the good news that old version of me died with christ i didn't have to live in bondage anymore the more i embraced my identity in christ the more freedom i found that's the power of colossians 3 3 to 5. it reminds us that the old has gone and the new is here but in order to live in that new life we have to let go of what's already supposed to be dead so what about you if this resonates with you it's time to make a choice what's one thing in your life that you need to put to death a habit a thought pattern or a desire that's been holding you back it's different for everyone for some it's bitterness or unforgiveness for others it's a struggle with self-worth comparison or fear maybe it's a pattern of negative thinking or a specific behavior that you know is out of alignment with god's will for your life whatever it is take a moment right now to reflect on it this isn't about guilt or condemnation this is about freedom god wants you to live free from the things that are weighing you down he wants you to step into the new life he's created for you a life full of peace joy and purpose but in order to do that you have to let go of what's holding you back i encourage you write it down what's the one thing you need to put to death today drop it in the comments or share it with someone you trust you don't have to face this alone let's take that step toward freedom together here's the truth when you let go of the old something incredible happens you begin to discover the real you the one hidden with christ in god this isn't about perfection it's about progress every day each decision to let go of what no longer serves you brings you closer to the life god designed for you you weren't meant to carry the weight of your past or be held captive by the things of this world you were meant to live in the freedom christ died to give you so take that first step today reflect on what you need to let go of and then take action whether it's committing to prayer seeking help or even just making a personal declaration to god don't let another day pass living in chains life won't always be easy but the victory comes when you decide not to live bound by what's dead but to walk in the freedom of new life you can do it you don't have to live in the past 
You don't have to carry the weight any longer. God has a better future for you. And it starts with the choice to let go. Let me tell you something. When you let go of the old, you're making room for the new. When you say no to the things of the earthly nature, you're saying yes to peace, joy, and purpose. When you say no to bitterness, you're saying yes to forgiveness. When you say no to lust, you're saying yes to purity. When you say no to fear, you're saying yes to faith. And that faith will carry you forward into the life you were meant to live. I can promise you this, when you let go, you'll find a freedom that you never knew existed. You'll discover the person God created you to be. You'll find strength where there was weakness, peace where there was chaos, and hope where there was despair. So don't hold on to what's dead. Step into the new life God has for you today. So what's holding you back today? Don't wait for the perfect moment. This is your moment. If you're ready to step into the new life Christ has for you, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this message with someone who needs hope. Together, we can support each other on this journey of freedom. Remember, your new life is waiting. You just have to step into it. The old is gone. The new is here. Let's walk in it together. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, grateful for the new life you have given us through Christ. We ask for your strength and grace to let go of the things that are holding us back, the habits, the thoughts, the desires that are not from you. Help us to walk in the freedom you have already won for us. Lord, we declare today that we are free in Christ. We put to death the things of the earthly nature, and we step into the new life you've called us to. May your peace fill our hearts, may your purpose guide our steps, and may your power be made perfect in our weakness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Prophetic Declaration And now I declare over you, you are no longer bound by the past. You are free in Christ. Walk in His freedom, live in His peace, and move forward with the confidence that your life is hidden in God, amen. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen.